What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal Evo RTG. Today we're not starting off with the Arsenal team or some champs or anything like that. We're starting off with a draft. So I built a draft for Draft Glory um, and the premise of course was to get one of the brand new cards and play with them. I didn't get one of the brand new cards. I'm going to show you the draft though because it was insane. And uh, I won the draft just so easy, right? Rage quit in literally every round. And even in the semi-final, I went down to 10 men and I still got a rage quit in the semi-final. And um, first of all, I just want to show you a couple of the goals that I've scored in this game because A, they're brilliant, but B, it, it really, really hits home how much of a disadvantage playing with my players is. Um, and it's sad, but it's true. And I'm not going to like bang on about it. I'm more just interested in showing you guys the rewards. Um, but yeah, I scored a goal with Marcus Rashford. That's probably my favorite goal I've ever scored this year in FIFA. And as you can see here, look at that. Two minutes, five minutes, eight minutes, 12 minutes. I was 4-0 up. He scored on 15. I scored again on 24. But this goal here with Marcus Rashford is incredible. So first of all, we're doing a bit of bit of jiggery pokery. The LB drug back, and then the power shot from the box. There, you don't really get to see as much of it as I would like to have hoped. But the because I, I did a few other skill moves, you can actually see me coming off of a um, five star bloop bloop thing, the little heel to heel flip flap there. But this drag back with L one, and then being able to push forwards because of how good his dribbling is. Look how good that is. I can't do that with the Arsenal players. And then the power shot. I mean, I could have scored without the power shot, but it's always nice to score with it. And then we also scored uh, two minutes in, obviously off of kickoff. Uh, th this, this one actually wasn't a very good goal. This one was quite nice. This one was a corner. And then this one was another, another really nice one where we've done another skill move. Can't, I can't do that. Can't do that. Now, I can do like a hill-to-hill -hill flick instead or anything, and he bit, obviously. Um, but then we got the power shot off there again. I might have just been a regular shot. But it's joyous playing with this team. And, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, like, overly honest here. Sometimes I'm going through a crisis of confidence when I'm playing with the Arsenal team because I think, God damn, like, surely I'm better than this. Surely I'm, like, I can win games. Because even when we're winning games, it's, it's stressy, it's aggy, it's on a knife's edge. I could so easily lose it. Then we play with this draft, and I'm like, man, when you have Hullet and Rashford and Eusebio... And even this Bellingham and this Goretzka and Grimaldo, who's insane. See? Just, it, 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 it honestly is. It's just easy, right? And it leaves me in two minds. The first mind it leaves me in is when this Arsenal team gets this good, oh, it's going to be fun. The second mind it leaves me in is uh, am I putting myself through this stress and it's never going to get that good? Because if the Arsenal team never get us there, oh, that'll be pain, won't it? Anyway, we're starting off with a draft win. So we get a 50k pack and a 5k pack, which is quite nice. We're up to 40,000 coins. I've discarded a load of stuff off the trade pile. All the golds aren't selling. That's just a common gold, unfortunately. Um, but maybe it's still worth something. Edwards. Oh, Edwards. Okay, no, he's not really worth anything. Everything here is like 600 coins for the commons. Uh, the manager, worthless. The contracts will list up. Got to get into. A, I've got a lot of contracts in the club. Got to get into a good habit of, of listing them because even though they don't all sell all the time, um, they do sell. You know, if you list like fifty or sixty, uh, you will sell. You know, um, five, ten each each time you list them. So it's worth when there's nothing else going on on the trade pile, having a whole bunch of contracts on there. And the fact that I haven't is just sheer laziness. From me. Sheer laziness. However, we've also got a 50k pack. Can we get something to help us towards Thierry Henry in here? No, we can't. We get an Argentine. CDM. Oh dear. It's actually bad, bad, isn't it? This might just be a discard pack. This might be one of those drafts. Okay, we've got an 83 Gerard Moreno. This might be one of those draft wins where you genuinely lose money from winning it. Because none of this sells. And it, it literally just will not sell. Not that it might sell. It might sell eventually. It just won't sell. I've listed some golds on the transfer market hundreds of times. And they never sell. And these ones will never sell. So 
So we're going to discard all of that. We have also got a free draft token. So uh, what I'm actually going to do right now is build a draft with you here because we've got the draft token from just linking ourselves to Twitch. Build the draft here. Play through however much I can again. Um, and, and then just come back with the rewards again. Um, we're going to get ourselves Vinny J for the bench. Love that. Um, and, and yeah, just, just come back for the rewards. I know in, in terms of the Road to Glories, historically, you guys have always been way more engaged in the main storyline of the game. Um, and every time I used to do draft on the Road to Glory, people just hated it. It was mad, but they hated it. Now, do we want Luis Openda here, Robert Lewandowski? I think I want this upgraded Lewandowski. Oh, he looks good. He looks good. Throw him in there. Why not? Um, already, this is not becoming the sort of draft that we just had. You know that draft that I just showed you guys? That was a big, big draft. This one is not a big, big draft. This is a little, little draft. Go over Benjamin Boudigol. Uh, French easier to link. Harrison, Fofana, Lobotka, Joe Linton, Brazilian, easy to link. Does uh, Vinicius Jr. have striker? He doesn't. Um, right, and at left back. Ah, oh, the new Karchawi. Very nice. Very nice. I've got Furlan Mendy there that might be a better fit for the team. He is a better fit for the team. Team Schm... Oh, actually, no. Oh, she's got... Oh, oh. We're taking Karchawi. Look how good she is. Look how good she is. Travesty to not. Um, Ginter, Hummels, Elestit, Jansen, and Smalling. We've just got no links here, have we? Literally no links. Not a single individual link here. So we'll take the pace merchant, that is Matt Hummels, because he's got a shadow as well, which obviously helps. And uh, do you know what? It's actually worked out quite well, because Upa Meccano, French and Bundesliga in there, and Upa Meccano is a beast. And then we can link to either Bronze, no, Hakimi. Gets the PSG link to Karchawi. Trippier, whipped pass. Whipped pass to a power header. Say it won't work. Say it won't work. We're going to have to force that. He's got Shadow as well, which is all right. Say it won't work. What do we get? Cohen Castells gets that Bundesliga link in there as well. Alex Romero for the La Liga link. Castells, it's nice. All right, the draft's not too bad. It's not too, too bad. We've got some things we need to improve upon. Um, we'll take Loris just in case we want that Premier League. We're only at 10 chemistry so far. I would like to improve upon that. We'll go with uh, Moreno, but Carchao. I, th I think actually the defense is superb. Lewa and Messi are great as well. It's that midfield that needs upgrading like badly. It doesn't matter about the other attacker either because I could just sub in uh, Vinicius Jr. into that center forward role. It's not a problem. So any great midfielders EA would be very welcome. We've got Huth, Awa, Awa, we? Partey. Yeah, Thomas Party works on a shadow as well. Um, we'll put him in there instead of uh, Benjamin Burgo. Gets that Premier League set up, doesn't he? Premier League links in there. We've got Matoma and Pascal Gross. Um, but we need, yeah, there's, there's the big boy. There's the big boy. He's got centre mid available as well. Great. He's just going to go in there. And that's just beautiful, isn't it? And now we can bring Vinny J on. And this draft is uh, just good. Just good. It's not great. It can get great, though. Usman Dembele in form. What say we put Messi in the midfield alongside Party and Hullet? You know, two tanks and uh, one wizard. And then Dembele and Vinny J up front alongside uh, Robert Lewandowski. Yeah, it's going to have to be done, isn't it? It's going to have to be done. Three more picks to go in this one. Take Raheem Sterling for the bench. Only 13 chemistry in this draft, guys. But as I say before, the rules are really simple when it comes to the draft. Chemistry, chemistry, right? And then, yeah, not a lot going on there either. So for a manager, can we get a little boost? A little something like uh, Up to 14. Stays on 13. Up to 13. Stays on 13. Stays on 13. Up to 14. So Pellegrini will be the manager. I'll see you at the end. I'll see you at the end. Well, unfortunately in this one, guys, we only managed to get into the second round. It does turn out that having slow defenders and slow midfielders is really not very good. The guy we came up against in the second round just had uh, Salah, some other fast attackers. 
And uh, we tried our best, but we couldn't do it. So we get a silver players pack, premium gold pack, and a gold pack. Can we hit anything of value? That's all we're looking for, obviously, out of this silver players pack. Any Arsenal player would be very welcome. Uh, we get Gustavo from the old Jean-Buc Motors. Um, I don't know if any of this is worth anything. A Luton Town centre-back is not worth anything. A Lille centre-back maybe is worth like seven, 800 coins. Thiago Santos, probably because of that pace. And then everything else is probably worth nothing. But this was from a free draft token. So this is just clean profit for us. It doesn't matter. We're going to get just a common gold out of the, um, out of the 5k pack. Elistondo, Wilms, and that woman right there. Let me just send this up to the trade pile. I'll deal with this in a moment. Uh, that can go up as well. That can all stay united. Club nickname doesn't sell. That doesn't sell. We'll discard and throw those away. And last but not least, a premium gold pack. I think it's just common gold. It is just a common gold. He's a right back, mind you. So it could be, could be valuable. It's Serge Aurier, he's not valuable. Um, we'll send this up to the uh, trade pile as well, and we'll try and sell all of this. The Red Bull Leipzig fourth kit. All right, that's that's a seller. That's a seller. Maybe only for like five, six hundred coins. But it's all part of what we've got going on. And so uh, there we have it. So now it's about going back into foot champs and getting our merits fully upgraded as quick as we can so that our team is not as bad. All right, welcome back, guys, for a little bit more packs. I've been doing some grinding, nothing major. Cleared out some of the 83s and 84s I had in the club. We've got the small red gold players pack from the, the four, Challenge 4 or something like that. Um, an 80 by 2, an 81 by 2, the 84 by 3 from the season pass. These two are from playing the games with Ledley King, which I completed him. Uh, the three red gold players pack and the 84 road to the knockouts. I also completed that Neville SBC. Uh, she's in the team at the moment. Because, of course, I do want to get uh, Madison. And I want to get King's Loan every day. So that we can get the packs from playing with them, basically. You know, something to do. You don't mind it. Little Spurs-Arsenal combo. Not ideal, but you don't mind it. Um, we're going to get a Spanish right back from the 80 plus by 2. It's Saucy Pedro and Jonathan David. Um, can't even get a game at the moment for Lille. And 81 by 2, it's just going to be another rare goal. But all fodder is welcome, EA. Ooh, American goalkeepers can be quite high rated. It's King, Kingsbury and Joao Mario. I actually put Kingsbury into a team. We have got the three rare gold players pack. This is just from the uh, objective thing. You know, those things. Oh, we get another 83 out of that, though. That's really, really nice. And then the 84 by 3. Not a special. Italiano, CDM, Newcastle, it's Tonali. I'm surprised he's still in packs, I can't lie. Um, not bad. 86, 85, 84 from season pass. It's not bad. And then we've got the 84 plus road to the knockouts. Come on, it's not Champions League one. Oh, it's not bad. I'm re I really like Bayer Leverkusen um, because Grimaldo and Granit Xhaka went there and I like them for so rare reasons. Um, I've been following Bayer Leverkusen a lot. And this is a really, really good card. Great pace, good height, very good defending, very good physical, good dribbling, good passing. Reasonable play styles as well, including jockey and block. That's, hey, that's, that's a bit of a dub. I don't mind that at all. Um, yeah, just to show you the, the team, what we're playing with at the moment, I might have actually done the 50. I might have another, I might have a milestone objective completed. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. We've got the Centurions upgrade completionist done. We're up to 50 now, which is obviously uh, quite nice. Um, but I've got to finish off weekly. I'll do the moments and get the daily uh, today. Uh, and weekly gameplay. We've got 10 more games. That's going to be, what, another like 1,100, 12, 13, 14, 1,500 XP there. We're going to start watching the EA thing today as well. Uh, we've got Triple Threat James Madison and Triple Threat Chase uh, to go. No XP in that, but I'm still eight games away uh, from Madders. And then in terms of the Evolution, what's the name? I always forget her name. Maritz. I need two more clean sheets and we'll get her up to the 85 and then just two more clean sheets and two more wins by two goals. Get her fully evoed up to the 86. And with that, let's open 
our rare Electrum Players pack. It's not a special card. It's not a good card at all. It's going to be Hoiberg. 84 is all right, I suppose. Nothing doing for us there. We get Teenage Hadibi as a rare silver. I will use that in a different SBC. All right, we should have, I say we, I, I should have all of the, uh, yeah, claim that. Everything's claimed for me now. I no longer have to watch this. When I go into Ultimate Team, it should have those things finished. Dream Evo. Whipped Pass that I can put on Merits or something. I don't know, Whipped Pass Plus, should I say? Four objectives done. The game's bugged still. Never mind. FC Pro done. We get the Mega Pack and the Prime Gold Players Pack. And then FC Pro Season 1, Season done. We get a Rare Gold and a Prime Gold Players Pack. It's very nice. We have sold 24 items. God bless League SBCs. Although we can't see them because I've just restarted the game. I've literally just restarted the game. What is happening? Four packs. Four more packs. Some good fodder packs here as well. Two primes, a rare and a mega. Here we go, those primes. Starting with Modric. Nope, it's Brozovic. Never mind. We'll see this year in 84. Only an 83. That's mad. All untradeable. I should really be putting this into the uh, the other thing. I've probably thrown away enough players to do about like three or four other three or four of the other things. All right, it's going to be uh, hopefully Mr. Ossiemen. Nope, never mind. Still no Fabio Vieira. We've got the 50k pack. Now this is all free fodder, right? Just for watching the uh, watching the show. You know, watching the show. Italiano centre back. Oh dearie, dearie me. An 83 rated. Don, Don David and Malassia. They can go. And then a mega pack. Come on, EA. Nope. Nothing out of this one either. Brazil. Centre back. Arsenal. It's Gabriel. Of course, I don't need him. A shadow is always nice. None of this is tradable, but I will go and use uh, these guys in another SBC. All right, guys, welcome back. And of course, today is going to end up turning into a day about packs, which doesn't really bear that much relevance for the Arsenal Evo RTG. But I've been already asked multiple times about how do I feel about the brand new League SBCs, or rather, as EA have called them, League Upgrades. And uh, is there an efficient way to grind them? And so we're going to go through them in a bit of depth right now. Uh, I have completed the Premium Mixed League upgrade. I don't have many coins left. And it's according to Footbin, it's coming in at about 34,000 coins. Now, is that good value? It's debatable. Um, a small prime gold players pack with a man minimum 80 plus is quite nice as a tradable. And a jumbo gold pack is quite nice as a tradable. I'd say you're probably going to be making... 15k back, like, as long as you're efficient with how you sell things here. But it's not necessarily about can you make the coins back as much, can you make the value back. Now, for 30-odd thousand coins, even if we just go on the low side and say we're going to get 10,000 coins back from these packs, 25,000 coins spend. Is 25,000 coins worth it for a prime gold players pack, small rare gold players pack, and a prime election players pack? And the answer is, honestly, it depends. It just depends on what you get. Um... What I would suggest, as always with the League SBCs, is sell everything that's tradable, even if you need it, right? Even if you need it, just sell everything that's tradable. So we're going to start with our small prime gold players pack, and we're going to get ourselves... Go on, be Modric. Go on, be Modric. Give us a walkout straight away. Ah, oh, it's Kovacic. Not what we're looking for. Um, although 80... Oh, no, he's not even an 83. He's an 82. See, now this is where it's a problem this year, because last year, golds would just always sell. This year, not so much. So the discard price is 582, but the lowest sale price is only 750. We've also got Saucy Pedro, also not selling. I mean, we'll list them up, but... And then Barak as well, uh, probably also not selling. So we're about 2,000 coins from those players. We've got Defructos is going to be about 500 coins. So we'll say 2,500 coins. Um, this guy is going to be about five 600 coins, so about 3,000 coins. So we're about 3,500 coins at that kind of low rate if we can get everything to sell. If we can't get everything to sell, obviously it's going to be a bit less, but I'd expect everything to sell over time eventually. And then the Jumbo Gold Pack is going to give us 
a German CDM from Mainz. Not what we want. Um, however, do we get any of the good players? So even with the contracts, guys, I you know this this is really is about how many coins can we make back? What can we get back from this? I would list every contract every time. Um, just list them for 150 to 250. You will get paid, people buy them. Obviously, if you've got like a completely full trade pile, uh, store consumables back into your club, just focus on selling players first and then go back to trying to sell um, the other consumables. But if you've got space on your trade pile, just list all of this stuff up. Uh, the shield can go. This shield can go. Hopefully, we get like a Saudi League thing. No, we get these two here, which isn't very good. Sounders can go. 1,000 coins is actually a massive, massive return for us. Rogers will most likely not sell, but we'll try and list him a couple of times. And then the Botafogo away kit also will not sell. Um, that leaves us some players, though. And again, I think these players are probably like 500 coin players. You've got two options with the players, the tradable players. It depends on your coin balance, what you do with them. So option number one is you have got a low coin balance. You need the coins back to reinvest into league SBCs. And so therefore you can sell them. Option number two is you can store them. And then, for example, someone like you do Okai, you could just use him back in. Same with, oh, you can't actually with Gabino, but with a core and with you do, go, uh, you do Okai, you can use them both again. So if you've got a, like, if you've already got like a nice coin balance, you could just store these guys and either wait until they become really expensive and then sell them. Like if EA given, uh, you know, a uh, Evo that Garbino fits perfectly into and makes her insane, she just will go up a little bit. So, you know, you can, you can kind of like save cards for that if you've got coin balance. Or you could just store them and sell them when they're worth something. Or you could just store them and then use them when, uh, when you need them again in the, in the League SBCs. I personally think I'd be selling everything right now for me, especially because I've got a really low coin balance. And then obviously, if you do have a really low coin balance, it makes perfect sense to uh, to sell everything because you need coins back to buy the players that make sense rather than the players that you get. So like obviously, we, we've hit there a couple of um, League SBC goals that I've sold. But if you get somebody from that same team here in the untradeable pack... You then don't need two players from the same team. So then obviously with what you get from these packs, is that going to be Hansko? That's actually quite nice because I was using Far Nord for my, uh, my team in the one team situation. What you get when you get these packs, you've got a few options to go with, right? So first of all, I mean, look at that. We actually did get a Mainz player in there as well. He's good for a League SBC. He's good for a League SBC. He kind of is good for a League SBC, although Alkmaar, not an easy team and not a cheap team to build. Uh, Bonucci's good for a League SBC. Wahi's good for a League SBC. Lens, I actually think, are one of the cheaper teams. And Hansko's good. But obviously, when you get in the French League or the Eredivisie cards, just store them. Store them, store them, store them. And try and build up a bank of those teams and players so that you're buying as little as possible every time you're going around the circle with it. Everything else, if it fits into a League SBC, great. Uh, you know, you'll actually find as well, we've got a Championship Rare, which is great for a League SBC. But then we've got Bennett, who's useless, uh, Mat Matsuo, who's useful, Bully Bally, who's useless, this guy who's useless, and this guy who's useless. So what do you do with the useless cards? Well, it's all about trying to make as many coins as you can, right? So for the tradable, so for the untradable rare silvers, go and put them in the icon segments. Same with bronzes. If you get any bronzes, go and put them in the icon segments, get those tradable packs back, and just somewhere to use them, unless they fit into a league SBC, of course. And then for the golds that you might get that come from leagues that don't have aren't part of the league SBC, go and put, in, put them in the Centurions upgrade and keep recycling uh, that level of uh, content. If you finish the Centurions upgrade, just upgrade, just put them into two two player packs. Um, for us, we're going to store all of these in in here. And obviously, the idea is that you want to be hitting like cards that are either upgrading your team, which I think is going to be next to impossible. Or cards that are just going to be really good for completing SBCs, which I think is definitely more viable as we get Mateo there. Was she an 84 or is she an 83? He's an 84. Wow, look at that. Um, the first thing here is this is a great amount of uh, great amount of league SBC fodder. Fran Garcia fits, Diaz fits, really fits. Abergel fits if uh, Lorient are good. Gazdag fits. 
Wallace fits and Giroto fits. So lots of league SBC cards there. And then an 84, an 82 and an 81 for, for an SBC, which is, again, obviously quite nice. And then last but not least, we get the small rare gold players pack, which is going to give us Spain centre mid. Could be a walkout, could still be a walkout, could be Gavi. It's Gavi. There you go. Um, I think I used him in an SBC already. I didn't, but we've got Gavi, we've got Ericsson, Malcolm, Lamella, McGregor, Mohica. Now, what we've got here as well, which is really good, is Mohica, Lamella, Ericsson, and Gavi all fit into that Premier League League SBC. So the one, the one hand, obviously, the untradables you get just really like reduce the price of the future SBCs. And then any dead untradables you get, you could just sell. That's nice to get some coins back straight away there. Any dead untradables you get, you could just go and sell straight away, right? Um, for tradables, again, it depends on your coin balance. I've got 12,000 coins. I have got um, four battles rewards to pick up as well right now, which we'll do. But yeah, for, for, untrade, for, for low coin balances, you're going to just want to sell everything. And then, you know, it, it just comes down to about the recyclability. Now, can you recycle and repeat these? realistically without having to go into bronze pack method or anything like that and i think the honest answer is probably not right I, I do think that they're a bit poor in that regard um you know ea have kind of lent towards over the last couple of years because we had these last year they've lent towards um they've lent towards making these inefficient and especially with how the games developed this year with um with evos with objectives and you know they have focused really nicely on the objective side of things and I actually I've got nothing nothing bad to say about objectives I think they've done a great job here I think there is so much to do there is so much fodder there's so many free packs like there's just so many good things that they have in this section right here and in seasonal and in milestones you know all of these century milestones are incredible like they've given us actually so much back <clears throat> that when we now look at these league SBCs it's it's kind of a bit meh. Um, what I will say for it though is I've been asking for a while for just give us somewhere to put that low end trash duplicate untradeable crap that we get that we've got nothing to do with. This is now it. This is now the thing that makes the most sense to put those things into. If you just get a duplicate Premier League player, just come and do the segment for the Premier League here. And, and then, you know, if you get some more duplicates for the Premier League and you've already done the Premier League segment, just finish it off and then get your packs and go again. So for that regard, it is a good uh, a good thing. The Mixed Leagues upgrade, this one's a bit interesting for me this year. Um, and the reason why it's a bit interesting, like last year, the premium mix was way better, like hands down way better. This year, even though they've reduced the chemistry, which is quite nice, they've still left the requirements for the League One and Eredivisie to be the same, where you need a whole complete team. And that's just a pain. You know, it's already hard enough to pack silvers and bronzes because nobody opens those packs. There's very few teams that have got exclusively gold cards. And if they have got exclusively gold cards, because people are like driving towards them, the common golds are up at like two, 3,000 coins. You know, like Monarch, uh, Marseille, sorry, are like crazy expensive for some of their golds. They're like 6,000 coins, which is just ludicrous. Um, so... It would have been nice if they had to just change this even to like five players from one club or six players from one club or seven players from one club. But otherwise, I think the um, this whole setup is really, really, really good overall. When it comes to the mixed leagues upgrade, now the packs you get in return aren't the best. The small rare gold players pack is really tidy. Uh, the tradable 5k pack and tradable small prime silver players pack isn't the best apart from if you hit something nice. And what I mean by that is in this small prime silver players pack, Hitting a an Eredivisie silver, you know, an Ajax silver or a final silver, because you're getting three k back for that straight away. And apparently, it's about thirteen thousand coins uh, from scratch to complete this. Now, of course, whilst you complete this, you'll pack things that can go back into this. And if you're doing the other one as well, you'll pack things that can go into this, really reducing that cost price down. And so, even though the packs themselves aren't necessarily ideal for like hitting big fodder, you know, a small prime and a gold pack tradable, and then a premium gold pack and a premium mixed players pack untradeable, and then that rare, small rare gold players pack as the overall reward. I actually think this one is going to be the closest you can get to farming it for free. Um, and, and maybe you can actually even farm this one for free if you're able to make 13,000 coins back here or save over, like, let's say you make 7,000 coins back from these two packs. If you make 7,000 coins back, but you save 6,000 coins on the next run, 
because you've packed enough players that go back into it for that next run, then you're at break even. And for me, that's like that's the biggest dub here. Obviously, it's still going to be very difficult for you to actually start picking up um, big fodder to improve on SBCs, but it is better than nothing. Um, and I will do like I will do a lot of runs of this one and the other one over the coming days and try and figure out if there is a hyper efficient method. But you know, the CSL you can get bronzes for 150 coins. The Saudi League, you get bronzes for 150 coins. And so to make up the difference, you could just get some golds that, in fact, we've already packed a Belgian gold and a Turkish League gold from the other packs that we've got as untradeable. So these ones will cost you absolutely nothing. And according to Footbin, uh, according to Footbin, um, <clears throat> these two squads, Turkish one is 3,000 coins and the Saudi one is 4,000 coins. I think you could probably do that cheaper than that. And the Libertadores and Sudamericana is 2,000 coins according to Footbin. So these ones here, I think, are really, really efficient. It's this one that costs the most, and it's because you need the golds and the rares and the rating. But this year, which was different last year, there are way more golds in the MLS than there were before, which actually makes this a lot cheaper, especially if you go and get those rare golds and then fill in with like the MLS bronzes and the championship silvers along the way. And again, if you're packing them along the way, it's just going to save you a lot of coins. So yeah, I do think that this one will be a little bit better. I'll figure that out. But to end with today, um, as I say, it was mostly a, a pack day. I've tried um, a new formation. Um, I was playing Rivals last night a little bit to try and figure out a new formation. I, I went into the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Um, I was watching A9 skills. And what one, one thing that he just does a lot that I tried to implement last night that started working, but I was like, I was trying to just get to grips with it is, he just passes a lot. When there's seemingly no reason, he just presses past. And obviously, he gets that muscle memory down, and then he starts recognizing where the passing plays and passing patterns come from. And at the end of just one game, one 90-minute game, he had like 168 passes. And like I usually get around 110, 120 passes. Like that's a lot of extra passes per game um, in, in you know what is like just a, a 10, 12-minute game or whatever for the halves. So I went for the 4-2-2 on two, now, and I really want to try and focus on a lot better passing play using L1 to drive the players and creating the goals from that. And uh, I, I did put together some really nice plays, but inevitably it was just, it, I, I didn't like succeed greatly because uh, it, I mean, it just wasn't easy. Um, either way, we are going to end with, I, I might have gold too. I don't think it's great squad battles. I didn't play like a hyper amount. It is gold too. The good news is, is it gives me 7,000 coins, which is great. It also gave me 600 XP, which might actually give us the next level on the list. Nope, I still need 450. We have now got this reward, level 15 and level 10. I haven't claimed them yet because I don't know who I'm going to claim. I'm going to wait until I get to the level 19 reward and claim them all together. Um, you only, I only need 4,500 XP now to get the end reward. I can't, can't lie, I think we must be like quite close with what's there uh, once I finish like the 25 games and such. We're probably going to be really, really, really close to it. But we've got some more tradable... Oh, I'm just going to throw that Gabby away for this uh, this video. I've got some more tradable uh, packs um, to hopefully bolster my coin balance to help run these league SBCs. It is going to be... Wait, I don't even know who that is. Marusic, Kennedy, Hello, send all of that. Uh, we'll keep this for now, and I'll try and sell that in my own time. I don't want to clog up my trade pile too, too much, but it is obviously important to sell everything now. Uh, we've got a small rare gold players pack. No special out of this one. Spain right back. It's going to be pain no matter what, isn't it? We've got small 284s out of that. That's really nice. 84s look like they're about 4,500 at the moment, which is good. Smalling can go and Marta can go. They can get sold. Lovely. And then. Uh, Everyone else, I'll just I'll pop up to the trade pile for now and I'll sell them uh, after the fact. But that has given me a really nice coin influx for grinding league SBCs. Hopefully, hopefully we can make coins whilst doing it. And last but not least, we are going to get a German CDM. Is it going to be Oberdorf? No, it's not. It's Arnold. That's too bad. I was hoping we'd get another walkout. We didn't. We get Arnold. Trauner, I'm going to keep. Medina, I'll keep. Dunst, Veltman, Meyer and Michaelenko can all go and get sold. Um, a thousand coin unlock is always nice. 
He can go. I don't think the Kiev kit sells. It does not. I don't think the black dress goal sound sells. It does not. And we'll keep the rest of it for the time being. So that is it for today, guys. Um, we've still got champs to play. I'm, I'm seven and three after ten. I haven't. I didn't play any champs games on Saturday. I was trying to figure out how to play, <clears throat> how to be a bit better with it. We've still got a couple of evos to go. Apparently, we're getting another striker evo. Um, so I'm still kind of waiting on that. We still got to finish up and evo up Marriotts. We haven't got there with her yet either. Hopefully, we'll achieve this whilst playing champs today, and we'll have her finished. And then outside of just trying to improve our coin balance and improve our ability at the game, our Evos are, are all but there. You know, we do need to pack Fabio Vieira, which I hope I will now with League SBCs being being there. Excuse me, it should be a lot easier. The other thing that I was thinking about as well, guys, is I think I'm going to go and sell these icons off again. Um, <clears throat> Petr Cech has just been less than desirable. We're also down on coins on him. Ashley Cole compared to... Um, McCabe isn't that great, um, which is a shame. And then Robin Van Persie, I, I honestly think I prefer Eddie and Ketia. What I thought I'd get out of RVP, he's 300k now. What did I pay for him? 30. What I thought I'd get out of RVP, I thought these icons would like improve the team and take us towards that 14 wins. And we might hit 14 wins this weekend. You know, we're seven and three, like I say, like we're we're basically bang on halfway there, halfway through the games. But when we look at the other alternatives, which is McCabe and Ketia and Ramsdale, the only case that we could make is that Ramsdale is not quite as good as Czech, but Czech makes some dumb mistakes as well. But when it comes to Cole and Van Persie, they really haven't been an upgrade to the team. So yeah, if I can get some good coins back for them, maybe even break even, might have to sell them in the night time to do that, I will. But for today, that is going to be the end. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.